Sometimes we need to understand the structure of the sentence. Other times we just need to know some synonyms. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we got a lot of filler at the start here. Uh, set in a world where science fiction tropes exist as everyday realities, uh, this book traces a time traveler's quest to find his father. Because the journey at the novel center is so blank, with the protagonist ricocheting chaotically across time, the reader often wonders whether the pair will ever be reunited. So they're, they're literally just saying the definition here. Because it's so chaotic, chaotic, with the protagonist ricocheting chaotically, right? Like obviously the right answer is not gonna be chaotic, but it's gonna be something that pretty much means that. And if we look, hopefully we know what the word haphazard means. It just means chaotic. Like this is like a pure, perfect synonym. Look it up in a thesaurus, it's gonna be there. So haphazard, yes, is the answer, no doubt in my mind. But just to kind of go through some of these other words, uh, premeditated, try to break that, that word down. Pre means is a prefix, it means before. And then meditate kind of sounds like, you know, when you meditate, when you think about, you know, you're kind of in your Zen zone and you're, you're just thinking about yourself or the world or whatever you do when you meditate. So if you're, something is premeditated, it's thought about before. Um, so to, um, I would say maybe the best single word is maybe pre-planned in this case, pre-planned. Something's premeditated. A lot of times you might even hear that word used in the context of like true crime. Right, it's a premeditated murder. They thought about it beforehand. They're going to kill this person. This is they're going to do it. So they planned how to murder this person. So premeditated doesn't necessarily need to be negative, but um, it is definitely a word that has a clear kind of meaning based on its breakdown. Uh, inspirational. Hopefully, you just know that yeah, if something is inspirational, it inspires people. It's very positive. Uh, fruitless. That's a negative word. Uh, the word fruit kind of maybe is a, a weird uh, word to see here, but um, if something bears fruit, it's productive. So if something is fruitless, it would be kind of unproductive. So it, it kind of does come from the idea of fruit on a tree, right? A, a, a fruitful tree is producing lots of fruit. It's very good. It's, you know, we can then eat all that fruit. But if it's fruitless, it's unproductive. It's, it's a tree. It's not producing the fruit that we want it to produce. So um, a lot of times, yes, you can use the structure of a word to kind of guess at the meaning, but uh, my advice is when you are doing these questions, uh, when you go over your answers, make sure you look up any words that you don't know so you can kind of add them to your memory, and hopefully the next time you don't need to break it down, you'll just remember what a word means.